Hey guys, it's Jada Mahogany and I am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're one of my day ones, welcome back. So as you can see by the title, I am gonna be using a brow tint kit for the first time and tinting my brows. I am such a brow girl. So, you know, we're gonna get that together today. So if that's something that you wanna see more of, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I ended up getting this brow tint kit from um, one of the nail surplus stores in the area that I live in. And the one that I got was this um, Godfrey tint kit for spot coloring. And I got it in natural black. It contains three, 20 pre-measured color capsules, cream developer, reusable application blood, brush, a mixing cup, and instruction sheets. So I have the kit and I'm gonna wipe off my brows with some of my um, MAC cleansing wipes. And then I am going to use this to kind of cleanse my skin afterwards. Obviously some Q-tips in case things get messy. And the brush that I'm probably gonna use is my MAC 263 brush because it's just really, really small. Um, you could use like the Morphe M432 brush. It's not an angle one, but it's pretty um, thin and flat. So, and this is my Jessup brush off Amazon. So any brush that kind of resembles these will do. So let's go ahead and get straight into the cleansing. Okay, so I wanna show you guys what the contents in the box look like. And first we have the instructions. There's a brush in there, which is actually pretty small, so you probably could for sure just use this. Then we have the capsules that the um, tent comes in. The cream developer for 30 applications. No, 20 applications. Why do I keep trying to say 30? 20 applications. The mixing bowl. I think this is maybe for the measuring. Let me see. Mixing cup, reusable, cream bowl. Maybe this is a mixing cup. One of these are the mixing cups and one is a measuring cup. I think this is a measuring cup. And then you have like a brow brush. So all of that is in there. So I got the directions together, y'all, because I was real confused. So basically, you're gonna leave the product on for two to three minutes and the mixing ratio is one and one. So you're gonna do one cap full, which I already have in here, of the um, actual color itself and then the same amount of developer. I just decided to use this as the mixing, but you probably could use the clear the clear cup. And they say for first time use, don't leave it on for the actual time that it says leave less time, just so you can decide if you like it or not. Because the longer you leave it on, the darker it's going to get. So we shall see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop what I think is about the same mixing parts. So I would say probably like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use the end of my brush. I wonder if I should use a Q-tip. I'll use the end of my brush and just mix that together. Okay, so I have everything mixed up and it looks like that. And let's go ahead and start with the first brow. Now, if you're new to things like this or you're not good with your brows, I highly suggest you either one, base around your brows with, or trace your brows with maybe like a white pencil so you know not to go outside of that line. Or you can use Vaseline or something along the lines of that. Just, just so you don't mess up nothing. So there's my disclaimer. That's just my professional advice. Okay, so I have um, the color on and I'm not gonna leave it on for a full three minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for two minutes and then it says just to wipe with water and then you can reapply after your brows dry if they're not dark enough. So let's um, wait for a minute and a half, two minutes 
and then we'll wipe on camera and let's see what happens. Okay, so I feel like it's been enough time. So I'm gonna take some of my um, Evian water and spray it on this cotton round and just saturate it really good. And let's hope I'm not walking around with super dark brows. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, y'all, I am shook. Yo, this looks so freaking good. Now, it is darker than I probably would normally go on a regular basis, like if I was to fill in my brows. However, comma, I feel like it's gonna wear off because I wear a lot of skincare and stuff like that. And I do wash my face quite a bit. So, that, y'all, listen, I just did something. I really just did something and I really just put y'all on like I did. So we're going to let it dry, but I'm going to wipe it one more time and I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup because I'm about to go to work and then we'll come back with the finished look. Okay. So I pinned my hair up um, because I'm going to work and I just, I don't know. I just didn't want it down today. So I pinned it up. I put on my glasses. I know I got lashes on, but I wear lashes and glasses. So this is what my brows look like with my glasses on. Like, this is just so perfect. Like, they pop. I don't have to feel them in, y'all. And then this is without, without the glasses on, which is brows and a little concealer and gloss. And I feel like it's definitely giving a I woke up like this look. And I'm loving that for me. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever... um? went and got your brows tinted or tinted them yourself. Let me know, give me all the details. What do y'all think of the color? Should I try um, dark brown next time or do y'all like the natural black? Because I feel like the natural black is good. I feel like the brown is gonna be um, too light. Maybe if I was wearing my natural hair, I probably would do the brown, but I really like how this looks. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this little quick video slash tutorial. Um, if I can find it online from a reputable source, I will link that in the description box. If I can't, listen, it's survival of the fittest. You can do what you will and find it yourself. But until next time, guys, bye.